Hello, beloved. Welcome to your message from God. All right. Welcome to the Prophetic Vessel Show. Thank you so much for your time. Um, I'd like to inform you that my one on one sessions are currently closed and will be open in four months. However, I do offer my dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God if you are keen. Let us tap in and see what's here for you. All right. Why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? What do you need to know? Um, let's tap in. Why did you resonate with the title as well? So this will be the serial lover in your life. All right, the serial lover in your life. All right, let's tap into the serial lover in your life, episode four of 24. Let's go. All right. So before we begin, we have the number 18 and 17. All right, 17, 18. And then we have the moon and the star energy, all right? The moon energy as well as the star energy. So those energies are symbolic to Cancer as well as Aquarius, all right? It's Cancer and Aquarius energy, all right? So let's tap us in further here. Let me tap us in further. All right, let's go. Sort of like 
the cloak around them or the cloak that surrounds them. They are like a darkened soul. Fallen angel energy, the devil type energy. I share. So God is saying, be mindful as we live in times where it's easy for people to portray an image, to put on a show, to play off a facade. All right. Because this be the type of motherfucker, this masculine you're dealing with, this feminine here that you're dealing with, take the narrative how it applies for your reality, masculine or feminine. This individual here, this serial lover of yours, right? This energy, they lack self-worth, self-love. The self-worth issues make them do things that are way beneath the belt or beneath them. Things that are grotesque, unhealthy, and utterly disgusting. And then the self-love issues as well, what they trigger in this masculine, in this feminine, this serial lover of yours, they make them do things like tolerating abuse, tolerating certain things of life, certain ways of life that should be intolerable to anyone that is sane-minded or anyone that knows what they're doing. But this person back to the fact that they're lost. All right, they're lost. So we have here them in that state of being, the melancholy, the lost, the state of being that is constant and continuous in their ways. They sort of channel it. But the hermit energy, the hermit rules over the unseen, all right? So a lot is unseen. A lot that they get up to, a lot of things that they do. And I feel like it's because they've been able to be this way for a long time. So they're good at it. They know how to hide their ways, how to cover up, how to hide their skeletons. They know how to cloak themselves or how to act right or act a certain way rather, right? So to speak. So the numbers on the table are nine and five. 95, God is saying that's symbolic to a percentage. And I should take a look at that further for you guys within the episode, all right? Episode four of 24 for the serial lover in your life. Let's tap in further. So as I'm looking at these energies, right? I am seeing a lot of blue, all right? Blue is symbolic to the throat chakra. All right, speaking, communication, all right? Looking up at the sky, no one can explain it, but it's there, it's constant. It's blue, it's there. So, God is saying this person feels like you're sort of like a shame. That sort of constant figure in their life. Something they can fall back on. Something they can rely on. And when someone pictures you like that, they see you as everything. They see you in sort of like almost motherly, fatherly, you know, type way. So with the Ace of Cups here, that is a representation of that energy, that motherly, fatherly type way they tend to see you. At times, all the time, God is saying. Hmm, I should. So we also have 9 9. I'm being shown 9 9. Alright, with the 9 of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So the 9 of Swords is symbolic to anxiety. I'm being called to put it next to the Hermit. The Hermit energy is, is prone to worry, a, a, war, a warrior of a person. Someone, an energy of worrying a lot, right? 
someone that worries a lot. That's that hermit energy coming out here. And it's followed by the nine of swords, the card of strictly anxiety. All right, anxiety. And anxiety takes place in all forms that can be established in variety. Because also it's a representation of Gemini energy. Gemini is the twins, duality, you know. It's incomprehensible, all right, which is sort of, yeah, I digress. I digress, I digress. So coming back here to this energy, this individual here, this motherfucker, this masculine, this uh, feminine energy you're dealing with, they're lost within themselves. They're a lost soul. They lack that direction and they feel like you can offer them that. They feel like you are all that they need before. Hmm, I share. I feel like they see you in a particular light that they want to make come to reality. Hence the 9 9, I share. Because 9 9 is symbolic to completion, being something almost being complete, right? So 9 9, you can say, you know, add another one, it could be a hundred. And a hundred is a number representing a new, you know, paradigm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like a different stature with it. This person feels like you can offer them something that they cannot get elsewhere though, okay? So you have someone here that feels like they're not going anywhere. Therefore, I share. They feel like like you are home. Let's step in further here. All right, to this energy of this masculine, this energy of this feminine for the serial lover in your life. Episode four of 24, all right, let's go. All right. Huh. More lovey-dovey energy, more emotions, more fluidity, more waters, more in depth it goes. Cause here we are with the Queen of Cups, but it showed up inverted. The Queen of Cups is, is the mother of emotions, the mother of love. The Queen of Cups is the energy of motherly embrace. So it's next to eight, the card of Ace of Cups, which is the card of love itself. So obviously the Ace of Cups is sort of like the ancestor for the Queen of Cups. They're in the same lineage. So sort of like the Queen of Cups is a representation of a smaller version, dimension, paradigm of the Ace of Cups, but it's still the Ace of Cups. And the fact that they came out twice here says a lot. God is saying, Ashe. There's a progressive energy permeating here. I share you. Let's take a look at it. We have the six of pentacles. The card of transaction. I'm being called to put it back as the card of Keep it at the back of your mind. Keep the word transaction, the word transaction, all right? That word at the back of your mind, all right? Let's go. So tapping in further to the layers here, there's the Ace of Cups here, the, the card of love we've established, and then we have the Queen of Cups reversed here. And then opposing those energies, coming in the middle of it, sort of like the problem is the Five of Cups, this lost energy that they feel. So here's this masculine, this feminine that feels like they have it all, they just need direction, clearly. And they see you as a energetic bank to feed them that, all right? They see you, Ashe, as 
an energetic bank to feed them with your anointing, your understanding of life, either in wisdom, in knowledge, or in other ways and other things. However, you are the resource, Ashe. So God is saying, be mindful of this energy. Hey, man. And be like that when you walk with God, truly. Like, you see a motherfucker when they're blessed or a blessing. All right? So, the Ten of Pentacles, which is the card of family or family-based things, in this instance, it's symbolic to family-based issues. It was upright when I was shuffling the deck prior, and now I've seen it once more, and it's reverse. Interesting energy. I'm being called to pull it. All right? So, here we go. Tapping it further to this energy. Let's go. I feel that you humble this person. Your understanding of life, your consciousness, your understanding of you having direction. That's what makes them or puts them in this the hermit nine of swords energy. All right, the card of anxiety, the card of worrying a lot, extreme chronic worry, almost panic frenzy anxiety with the nine of swords. All right, and the hermit energy here, and it's progressive as we've said. There's an energy of progression surrounding this episode, this energy. So God is saying that this is someone that is truly hungry to feed themselves in a better way, either in spirit, either in the food even that they eat, even in the things that they, or the places that they go, the people they be around. This is someone that wants a new life, all right? This masculine or feminine that you're dealing with, depending on your reality, please take the narrative how it resonates for the serial lover in your life, all right? We're only in episode four of 24. There's a lot to establish here. There are a lot of layers. Let's go further. So we have established that you, you humble this person. You bring them down to earth. You make them feel like they're missing out. Therefore, they that's why they want to depend on you almost in a motherly, fatherly manner, right? There's that type of energy surrounding it, surrounding this um, permeating here surrounding this episode, surrounding this message coming through for you, beloved. So they're troubled by the fact that they don't have direction. They're troubled by the fact that they don't know what's the next step for themselves. They're troubled that they, they don't know what their future is going to look like. Mm, I share. So they worry extremely about that. It's not just it's like a progression where it's like it's an everyday thing where it takes a form. It embodies its own energy. That that type of worry, that type of chronic anxiety surrounding their future. All right, them looking forward because this is the type of motherfucker that has high expectations of themselves. So when they don't see progression. Right, when, when they don't see a way, when, when they don't see better, they panic. They start to feel like maybe, me, uh. so this masculine energy, this feminine energy, God is saying, man, you gotta understand where they're at with it, right? I broke the deck on the King of Cups. I was called to take it up. 
So we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, Nida, same more, same lineage. We've established who the ancestor is. The ancestor is the Ace of Cups. So with that being said, these are both reversed. I was called to take them in this state of being. I was called to keep them like this as well. So let's do so. All right. So the King of Cups is just clarifying the motherly and fatherly aspect of this. All right. The way in which they see you, the perception of you in this instance. So coming, going back to the theme, all right, and coming back to the progression of where we, or what we've established rather, see now the panic frenzy they're in and why they're in this chronic state of worrying a lot, all right? See why, see where all that stems from now. It's the 10 of pentacles, Reverse is not only symbolic to family, the pentacles energy is money. All right, so think about that. There's a family curse that this person feels lost in. They feel like they're in it. They feel that there's nothing they can do about it except reach onto another. And you are who they've chosen and picked to reach unto in this instance. All right, beloved. Let's proceed further with this energy. Gain more clarity, all right? See what's going on here. So that's what we've established so far for this episode, all right? Interesting. Interesting truth as well. Let's tap in further. I digress. channeling is very grotesque in its way and I expected just that we have the I broke the deck on the nine of swords energy the nine of swords energy is coming out twice God oh Lord Jesus I feel like this is like God is saying grotesque all right grotesque is something very ugly damn God is saying this is this this is the, all the clarity we'll ever need when it comes to this episode. <laughs> That's how deep this anxiety, chronic anxiety, almost illness they're suffering from here. They're suffering from this and they're hiding it. The hermit also represents hidden anything unseen anything unknown that's the hermit energy hmm. this goes really deep i do feel the shift in the energy as we tap in it further and we're establishing this further all right this is getting really deep and i feel like this masculine next to the ace of cups the energy of love we have the two of wands the two of wands is oh this is the three of wands the three of wands, all right. So that double take, I feel like is very symbolic. This is a masculine, this is a feminine energy, all right, the serial love in your life, this is a person that wants to hide who they are, 
all right they want to hide it they plan on hiding their grotesque nature their grotesque ways their grotesque self their grotesqueness they plan on hiding it from from everyone for a long time and i feel like that's what they've been doing so much so that they've mastered all their cover-ups ashe they've mastered all their cover-ups now they're prone to this nature this way of being they can't stop themselves they're a walking cloaked person so much so that even when they're in excruciating pain in the most agonizing state of being they hide it so well you think they're perfectly fine that's why beloved ashe i establish here we did say that there's something seeming as though it's following this masculine it's not only this financial curse it's something as like they feel it's cloaking them as i said that i'm being called to pull that five of cups all right it's coming out again you guys the card of being lost and it's also the card here that is symbolic because it's illustrating someone that is cloaked all right a black cloaked one So, God is saying that is symbolic. A black cloak one is symbolic to someone that did a lot of things that damaged them when they were younger. They went through a lot of damaged traumas or traumas that sort of, they allowed tra their traumas to damage them when they were younger. Like, it's like, they're a lot, this is someone that allows themselves to be taken over by things, you know, in that form of way. And I'm being called to go back to the three of wands, that double take energy. They they want, it's sort of like, I feel like the thing about them is you can never tell, Ashe. They hide it that well, Ashe. But there's that though. And there is also this motherly, fatherly aspect of, or nature rather, of how they feel towards you, right? It's deep. You can imagine how someone like this, this damaged, this broken, and this lost within, how this, how where it takes them, you know, and what it makes them do. That's why I want to shit on them so bad because I see their deeds. I already know the comic debts they owe, you know. So pardon my ways in the previous episode. All right. But it is what it is, y'all. So coming back to this energy, we have the numbers three, 10, and five on the table. We did establish the five and the nine, nine. So I feel that this is symbolic to age reference. This is the type of person that is so used. They've been doing something for quite some time. And they're so used to being in this nature of being. But it doesn't mean that it's pleasant or they're okay. Clearly here, someone's lost within, right? They have an animalistic sort of beast, therefore, that... Because they're unhealed and they allow themselves to remain that way, time and time again, they're given the opportunity to heal. Time and time again, they're given the opportunity to be better. And time and time again, they choose not to be. They choose to stay the way they are. That's why I'm going to shit on this person, this motherfucker, right? But I digress further to say that this person, the only reason here they choose to remain in your life, they choose to be the serial lover type energy in your life, this obsessive lover, is because they know exactly what you can do for them. They see exactly who they want you to be for them. And back to that aspect of the motherly fatherly, all right? But God is saying, highlight the fact that these energies are both reversed. They're in their detriment, in their low vibration, in their worst way, in sort of like, the opposite nature. So this is symbolic to parental figure energy, right? It's symbolic to that, but in its worst way. So imagine that. Imagine the fact that they have their own trauma from their past and imagine the fact that they see you in this parental 
bigger manner and they want to clutch on you and confide in you that way that's you know you know it's this deep in that way so understand that context before we even proceed further with this energy all right for the serial number in your life it was so four of 24 let's tap in further we have the page of cups energy followed by the emperor and the queen of swords reverse so the page of cups was the one i pulled first the page of cups is the energy of the hopeless romantic someone that loves to surrender themselves to how they feel so much so that they choose to illusionize life and run away from the fact that they're stuck in a comic generational curse a comic generational cycle that they're comic ignore the fact that they're also comic type energy and rather they choose to indulge in this page of cups energy being hopeless is the energy of being hopeless but in this energy of the cups energy it's like you know a hopeless romantic and also symbolic to the energy right of how they feel for you as well so this is someone that is prone to that nature of being now it's taken over them and they feel like they can't fake it no more. Like, they can't control the fact that they're in this state of being. They need help or they need some form of progression. They need a way. They need to be pushed. All right. And then we have the second card that I pulled was the Emperor Energy, which is a card of control, being of a higher authority an authoritative sort of position right we have the higher font which is the ancestor of all of all powerful people in 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 their powerful roles and in their powerful ways the ancestor is the higher font and it's systematically there's a pattern there's rules there's regulations there's more in depth to that but what comes after the hierophant is the emperor who sits next to the hierophant is the emperor so it's sort of like being that close you know so hmm. and then we have the queen of swords the card of utmost clarity that says it exactly what it was feeling it's that they see you as that exact perfect blueprint of the, that escape. They, they see you as their escape. Queen of Swords is the energy of pure clarity and it's, it came out upright. This person sees exactly that in you. All right, they see you in those exact pair of eyes. They see you as the blueprint for them. That's how they feel. All right, beloved, Ashe. So I'm being asked to digress from this energy. We'll proceed with episode five of 24. All right, next time for the serial lover in your life. All right, the serial lover in your life, beloved. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. I do send you my utmost love. And I will try to be more empathetic to certain energies that I repel at times. Right. Um, I would like to offer you my services. All right. I do offer dream interpretations, love readings, spiritual path readings, as well as messages from God. And I did say that my, um, one-on-one -on -one sessions are currently closed, but I will be open in four months if you're still keen. All right, beloved. I will see you soon. All right, Ashe. Thank God. All right, Allah, Ra, the big G O D. Bye.